Has Meghan Markle and Prince Harry set a legal trap for King Charles? Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alternate, John the Alternative, and welcome to the Dose, the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye, and oh my goodness, yeah, let's jump into this madness, shall we, because has Megxian has a set a legal trap for King Charles? Oh, it looks like King Charles actually may have to watch his step with the gruesome twosome even more than usual because the mirror is reporting that King Charles actually faces serious legal jeopardy if he actually buries the hatchet with Prince Harry and, by extension, Meghan Markle. If he makes up with Hazza and Megzi and forgives them, yeah, that might actually be a legal landmine for King Charles. And so, as we know, the relationship between them all is extremely rocky at the moment. Understatement of the century, I know. However, we know that it looks like they are no longer on speaking terms uh, as Hazza attempts to discuss his security arrangements in the UK with King Charles. Uh, he has at the moment been embroiled in the long running battle over his fight to get UK taxpayer funded security for whenever he comes to the UK with Megzi and the children, uh, which was taken away since he stepped down as a working royal. Now, that is currently uh, in appeal at the moment. Uh, but this is the thing. Uh, it is said that King Charles actually is afraid of being dragged into this whole legal row that Harry's embroiled in at the moment with the UK government, specifically the Home Office, and could actually now be left, as the mirror says here, in an awkward position. Now, in a recently updated version of the book, King Charles III, New King, New Court, The Inside Story by Robert Hardman, which is being serialised in the Daily Mail, an advisor is quoted as saying this. Here you have the infelicious situation where the king's son is suing the king's ministers in the king's courts. That is pulling the king in three directions. You also have the situation where the king's son publishes accounts of private conversations, some of which have been, shall we say, wrong. Now, again, this is the advisor that's been quoted as saying all of this. Now, it's believed that the advisor is pointing to one of the sections in spare, otherwise known as wah, uh, where Hazard accounts being told of the death of the Queen Mother. Now, he says in the book that he received a call with the news whilst he was at school at Eton. But in fact, at that time, Hazard was actually on holiday skiing with the then Prince Charles and Prince William. Now, the advisor adds this. So imagine the situation if the prince were to talk to his father about his court case and then later to describe that conversation or worse, a conversation which was not entirely accurate. Now, this is a fair fear to actually have when it comes to Hazard. Because opinion, conspiracy, theory, whatever, Hazard has, has proven himself not to be trusted when it comes to having any discussions whatsoever with the royal family. Because he disclosed so many alleged private conversations and scenarios that, again, he alleges he had with members of the royal family in his book Spare. Blabbing to the whole world about it all. So you think... The royal family are rushing to speak to him again and trust him implicitly uh, having a conversation with him? I don't think so. So, yeah, this fear is not unfounded. That would be an absolute nightmare for the royal family to have to deal with. If Prince Harry went to the king and the king um, agreed to the audience with his son... The son, Prince Hazza, talks about his court case with the king. And then somehow afterwards, that whole conversation gets leaked. I mean, based on what he's done before, I could potentially realistically see that happen. What do you guys think? 
I think this advisor's well on the money here. Now, the advisor goes on to say, if this happened, right, if Prince Hazza went to the king, the king granted the audience and Hazza talked to King Charles about his court case with the Home Office to try and get his UK taxpayer-funded security back, and then that conversation, whether it's leaked or whatever, goes out to the world, the advisor says there would be serious legal jeopardy. Harry would only have to say, quote, my father said this, and a court case could collapse. That's not just awkward, that's bad. That is deep legal and constitutional jeopardy when you are head of the state and of the judiciary, and it's his majesty's government. And so, no wonder, for me, a bit of conspiracy theory or whatever, King Charles is not speaking to Hazza whatsoever. Because opinion conspiracy theory or whatever, one of the reasons would be if he did and Hazza spoke to him about this court case and King Charles gave his opinion and then somehow that opinion's out in the open, then that whole court case that he's got against the Home Office to get the UK taxpayer funded collapses. Because again, the, the legal jeopardy then is there. And then you've got a full-on legal and constitutional crisis when it comes to that particular case. But the deuce happens. The king turns around and says, yeah, I agree, my son, you should be getting full UK taxpayer-funded security. And I believe he won't say that, but in an alternate universe, what if he did? And then that was leaked to the press in some way, shape, or form. The whole court case is in legal and constitutional jeopardy at that point. How could it ever go forward? What is? What do you do at that point? It would be completely unprecedented, you guys. And so that is potentially the legal trap that Megzi and Hazza has potentially set for King Charles in all of this. Now, it comes after People magazine have reported that Hazza believes his dad could actually help to have his security reinstated, although this has been dismissed as, quote, wholly inaccurate by a palace source. Now, a friend of Hazza's told the magazine earlier this year that he gets unavailable right now. His calls go unanswered. He's tried to reach out about the king's health, but those calls go unanswered too. While another friend added, Harry is frightened and feels the only person who can do anything about it is his father. While another source added, Harry is determined to protect his own family at all costs. Yeah, I appreciate that regardless of who they are, right? He will want to protect Megzi and the children. Fair enough. But how about his, you know, family, the royal family? That's his family too. Wouldn't he want to try and protect them as well instead of, you know, putting it, them in legal jeopardy? Making them essentially not fall into such a legal trap. I'm just asking for a friend, guys. I really, really am. But ultimately, yeah, going around full circle here, has Megzi and Hazza set a legal trap for King Charles when it comes to his fight, his continued fight, to get UK taxpayer-funded security for him, Megzi, and the children whenever they come to the UK. Let's put it this way. I hope King Charles continues to ignore all his calls and all his attempts to actually reach King Charles. I really, really hope King Charles continues to ignore Hazza and Megzi for his own sake, the sake of the royal family as a whole, and pretty much as far as I would concern, the whole of the UK. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course, there's going to be more, you do not want to miss my next video, then make sure you subscribe to join our Altenerd tribe, because I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that go play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Now, just as a side note, we are going through a little bit of a YouTube 
YouTube purge at the moment. And what does that mean? Well, from time to time, YouTube likes to unsubscribe you from channels without your permission and without your knowledge. So please do make sure you are subscribed to this channel. And for those that aren't, please do subscribe today so we can stick two fingers up at YouTube and say, not today, Satan. Uh, also, as well, if you've got some very, very strong opinions about this potential legal trap being set, allegedly by Megzi and Hazza, and I bet you got some thoughts about that, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, latest.